Hello. Welcome. Well, it's quite a serious subject matter. This is a trailer that's just landed for a new documentary series on Netflix about the Madeleine McCann case. For some reason, the story of the disappearance of a child that causes such extreme mm -hmm. venom in, in people. Why does it cause such extreme venom? I don't know, people get so angry. Remember Nanny Thelma always used to talk about this. When, when people, and I've heard this many times, people say, well, they got what they deserved, leaving mm. the child there. Deserved. A mm. child has gone missing, mm. murdered, or God forbid, trapped somewhere. Or how can people think that anyone deserved anything? I, I don't understand it. There's been so it. many conspiracy theories over the years, hasn't hasn't? Oh, and they, they continually evolve. And I do feel for the you know you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. And I do mm. think for the parents, um, the McCanns, whatever their facial expression and whatever their contribution yeah. to the public sphere is, and th there is always a way to read what they're saying or how they're being, as in some way suggestive of the idea that they're hiding something, not being fully honest, not fully taking responsibility for their supposed negligence and all this kind of stuff. Uh, a friend of mine is a makeup art artist on one of the news shows and has been for years. And um, she, she often says about how over the last decade making up um, Madeline's mum's face and just seeing this woman just disappear into mm. herself. She said it is the most heartbreaking thing. Yeah. And she said to think that people are still can be still so brutal about yeah. her and about what yeah, she's yeah, gone yeah. through. I mean, obviously, we are both people that fully believe that this child was abducted and they had no part in but it. There are but there a lot of people but don't. But there are a lot of people, and I never cease to be surprised by the kinds of people that believe that there's, there's foul play at work. Now, if there was foul play, I don't think there's ever been a case where they murdered their child. I think this, the foul play and conspiracy theory is often toy with the idea that she accidentally, accidentally she died and they sought to cover it up and all that kind of stuff. I, mean, I still do think there's a lot of jealousy from people because they were a very good-looking, wealthy couple, you know, who seemed to have it all, the twins, the beautiful house, you know, both of them doctors. And mm. I think some people, it was just plain jealousy. <laughs> and there's a lot of rage about how much money has been spent mm. because there are so many children missing. And I get that. Mm. Like, the rage still, though. I mean, you know, if it was any one of our child, we would want 12 million spent on them, wasn't it? But Absolutely. for the people that aren't getting that attention and mm. aren't getting those resources, if their child might go missing, I can understand that. Mm. I can understand why people get so angry. Yeah. But people that aren't in any way connected like that, I've never really understood. Yeah, why? why? Well, there's always... My, my argument, my defence of there being sort of a lot spent sometimes on these individual cases is there always has to be a tent pole sort of mm. case if you like and it so happened that it was the McCann's you know it doesn't mean that thousands not thousands but you know many many other children go missing and haven't had the same exposure and don't have the same press push and don't have the same support or the same what have you I do but I think that's where a lot of the problem came with people yes. because the McCann's were both you know, Already very well, edu lot. well educated people. Right. He picked up very quickly mm. that things weren't, that the police weren't picking up on stuff and weren't yes. moving with the speed. Totally traumatized parents. Yeah. This is my perception. And they went, right, let's get out there, let's speak. Yes. And so they galvanized the press. Yeah. The press took on, you know, this beautiful child, this mm. good looking doctor family. And wouldn't you, if you could mm. get the resources, wouldn't you? Mm. And I think a lot of people judged them for that and said, well, it's not fair. Mm. But not everybody was as, pro as proactive mm. as, as they, they've been, so. So before we jump into this trailer for this new, this, this new series lands tomorrow, it's very much come out of Netflix's success of making of a murderer. It's the idea of, they, I think there's eight one-hour episodes. They've spent a million on each, which is an interesting figure when you compare it's it to the panorama that the BBC that made for just 200,000. How could you, you, as a documentary maker, well, how could they have spent a million well, pounds on each episode? I'm going to be brutally honest. I never ceased to be amazed by the budgets that were often thrown at some projects. I mean, it's just an inordinate amount. I can only believe that it's... An awful lot of it has gone into either drama reconstruction or the scenics or the scenery or, you know, the kit, the kit. Because, I mean, from what I'm also hearing, what I'm also hearing, it doesn't the sound detective. like they've got an awful lot of exclusives when it comes to sort of interviewees. Well, the McCanns um, have uh, refused to have anything to do with it and mm. had asked everybody in their group to mm. also not make comment. The McCanns have been offered... Um, the film to look at and they've, they've, they've declined it. that um, and actually the list of contributors in my opinion 
are dodgy. Right. Because I think... Portuguese heavy, I understand. I think the Portuguese detective has behaved despicably. He's right. brought out books, he's brought out DVDs. Yeah, so money Apparently his book franchise. came out only, only two days after the El Guido mm. um, had been lifted off them. And he's gone on all kinds of programs, you know, just mm. basically just slagging them off. Robert Murat, who was one of the early suspects. Yeah, I remember him. I mean, really, is he a fan? Mm. So I'm going to be interested. At yeah. the moment, I'm very, very cautious about this. To me, yeah. it sounds like it's going to be a load of rubbish, but I'm going in with an open mind. And from a sort of uh, industry perspective, it's very significant that Netflix have only dropped the trailer the day before the series becomes available. Oh, why? What does that well, mean? Well, because... On the one hand, they have to advertise it because they've spent so much money. But right. on the other, they're clearly not wanting to draw that much attention to it. So they're wanting the uh, best of both worlds. You know, you'd be trailing this like mad for the potential headlines. If they had something. I think they possibly know they've got a bit of a turkey on their hands. And it's kind of like rush it out, get a spike of interest and potentially pull it back down again. I don't know. Didn't the producer suddenly leave or yeah, something there was, as well? There was some, and nobody something knows contentious what. around so, the producer so leaving the production. We, <laughs> nothing is sounding good. Nothing is sounding good. No. So let's have a look so at it let's check it see. out. Yeah. The entire McCann case has become a phenomenon. If you made a dozen movies out of this, nobody would believe them. I've done thousands of cases. With the Madeleine case, I've seen the worst things a human being can see. The worst. It's feared that a three-year-old British girl has been abducted in Portugal. If your child isn't safe at a resort, where is she safe? The media made their daughter the most high-profile missing child in the world. Some individuals represented a significant person of interest. Police say they are now treating a British man as a suspect. They wanted me to confess. I actually felt I was being set up. The police had suspicions that there was some collusion happening during the night that Maddie went missing. This could be the breakthrough. Here it is, it all fits. Statistically, it's likely to be someone who is in close proximity with the child. The McCann's and their friends revise their timeline. There is no way Kate and I are involved in this abduction. The police leaked information to the press. Those cops lied to me. Then there was a surprise. The head of the investigative unit was under investigation himself. One startling element is the sheer number of sexual predators in the area. At the time, it's very easy to move children to other countries. Human trafficking is a massive problem. The value that Madeline had was really high. Oh, There's always something left to do till you find her. Somebody knows what's happened to Madeleine McCann. Oh my God, it really upsets me. <laughs> it's a very effective track. I mean, the story is phenomenal. You know what I was just thinking, though? Imagine just that like, first shot, mm. helicopter over the beach with that little girl. Imagine what that's like for the McCanns. No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm, do you remember at the time... We had um, a Maddie, terrible scare. Our Maddie was um, was was hiding in the house for, somewhere. No, no, but just the, but just there's, I just remember all those front covers. Maddie, Maddie, mm, Maddie, it Maddie. Was very and we were we were very connected to it, mm, weren't we? Mm. We were really, and you know, uh, 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 personally, all the stuff I've read about the detective, I can't believe the guy is well, in jail myself. I mean, he 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 was under suspicion. He he was actually on suspension at the time that Madeleine McCann went missing. So I'll be really I'm interested there. It looked like they were gonna discuss some of that and I'd really like yeah. to Yeah. I think if they can fold into it the fact that so many of these people involved in it were themselves uh, unreliable, if you yeah. like, or, or suspicious or suspect or insufficient in their analysis. I think it could be good. I do think what they look like they're doing, they're fanning up every conspiracy theorist. There was, a, yeah. there was, you know, you could see the way they were cutting. They had a bit of dialogue there that said it could have been someone close to the family. And then there's a shot of, uh, what's the mum's name? Kate McCann. Yeah. Uh, looking to the right. Now, you know, that kind of, that's manipulative.
manipula- yeah, manipulative she, editing. editing. And, and that, she looked a bit haunted and, and she a, looked bit a bit scared. Haunted. And then when they, and you, you know, and whether you like it or not, you're flicking through your mind all those dramas you've seen, like mm. the, the Cry, where you know mm. the people in the public, you know, they've lied in public, and yet behind the door, behind doors, you know, something else is afoot. So I think you know it's a difficult story because I think anything like this is just is dining out on in quite a predatory fashion. The, the the we will never knowness of the story, mm. and we will never. And that know. music was very yeah. very. So it's quite sensational. Now, on a gut level, if we didn't have such an emotional or weren't so well informed, I'd probably be drawn into watching that. Yeah, people are going to watch it. Do you think you'll watch it? I, I, I'm definitely going to watch because we're oh. going to review it, and, yeah. and because I am such an advocate of the McCanns. Yes. And I feel I feel so sorry for them. Right. That I would yeah I I, I want to watch it. Yeah. And I want to review it, don't you? You could argue that maybe they dropped the trailer with such short notice so that virtually no legal action can happen so that they can rush it out and get it out. But they did offer the film. Well, so yeah, it says true. it was that in The Guardian. It says in The Guardian they were offered the film. And they and did they approach the Mc- McCann's yeah. to, to contribute. It interests me that Robert Murat was there, seemed to be suggesting that the police were trying to force him to say, mm. and I've always been really suspicious of what's gone on to the police. And when they said there that there were so many um, sexual, what did they, what was Predators the there? There. Yeah, there. That is because at that time, I don't know whether it's changed now, Portugal refused to have a, a child sex, sex register. register. Yeah. So I remember at the time them saying that there were so many paedophiles mm. that had traveled to Portugal because they could, because they didn't have to register themselves mm. when they were there. Isn't that frightening? And apparently the thinking behind this was, Portugal felt, if we've got a child sex register, a child, Sexual, what do we say? Yeah, Predator, register. register. Um, then people will think that we've got paedophiles in the country, so we just won't have one. Mm. I remember there was a lot of debate about that at the time. Mm. So, um, but I think all of our words, and, and of course, the Portuguese were furious with the McCanns. I mean, in Portugal, the McCanns are hated because they, they feel that the McCanns have in some way you know destroyed their tourist industry. I do think, rather refreshingly though, they might have folded into the subject of this the fact that you can't trust the detectives yeah. or the stories that were running around. So yeah. maybe, you know, yeah. got to, we can't make there a judgment until we've watched there it. Might there might be balance. Be Let's hope there is. Yeah.